Hello, everyone, on this day of prayer, where we try to understand God's plan in our pain. To George's family and friends, Jill and I know the deep hole in your hearts when you bury a piece of your soul deep in this earth. As I've said to you privately, we know, we know you will never feel the same again. For most people, the numbness you feel now will slowly turn day after day, season after season into purpose through the memory of the one they lost. But for you, that day has come before you can fully grieve. And unlike most, you must grieve in public. And it's a burden. A burden that is now your purpose to change the world for the better. In the name of George Floyd. Like so many others, I've watched with awe as you summon the absolute courage to channel God's grace and show the good man George was. Search to stir justice too long dormant to move millions to act peacefully and purposefully. But among all the people around the world who feel connected to this tragedy are the ones who lost something that can never ever be replaced. To George's children and grandchild, I know you miss your dad and your granddad. Little Gianna, as I said to, I, to you when I saw you yesterday, you're so brave. Daddy's looking down, he's so proud of you. Why in this nation, do too many black Americans wake up knowing that they could lose their life in the course of just living their life? Why does justice not roll like a river nor righteousness like a mighty stream? Why? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we can't turn away. We must not turn away. We cannot leave this moment thinking we can once again turn away from racism that stings at our very soul. We can heal this nation's wounds and remember its pain, not callous the heart and forget. As you said, Gianna, your daddy will have changed the world. May God be with you, George Floyd, and your family. And the words of a hymn from my church based on the 91st Psalm, may he raise you up on eagle's wings, bear you on the breath of dawn, and make you to shine like the sun hold you in the palm of his hand. God bless you all.